All right, welcome back to Mai Tai and Tojo versus the Airwaves. And this week we are going to talk about Come guys on, versus girls and what I fucking hate about you, Berman. And what I hate about you, assholes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't have a guest this week, but who gives a shit? Because we evened it out to make it fair. We got one guy and one dog. Oh, I'm not a dog. <laughs> you jerk. Well, anyways, um, yeah, we don't have a guest star this week. That's, that's cool. It's just us again. So, But next week we should have like one or two guests, right? Yes. To next week we have Valentine's Day. Yeah. So we'll yeah. And I guess we'll that. be recording the show a little bit late because uh, we're both servers. So, of course, we both get stuck working on Valentine's Day to make it a lovely holiday for all the rest of you but who you actually get to enjoy it. That's okay, <laughs> because I know during Black Friday, they have to wake up and be at work at, like, 3. Oh, okay. And I've never right. worked in a store like that, so I've never had that problem. Really? So, I have. I have. Do you have to be up for first Friday or Black Friday? Yeah. Yeah, I did. That's I, gross. And I had to wake up at, like three in the morning it was ridiculous okay yeah. anyways so, so uh, our topic this week is guys versus girls but we're gonna get to that in a minute first we're gonna jump right into your science my science my nerd out news your nerd all right out so news. what they're thinking about doing and it's definitely like like i said they're doing prototypes and stuff like that i never really like talk about anything that's already come out and what they want to do is uh like implant chips like you know you see in like, a bunch like of movies. potato chips no not potato chips you retard see See, that's a guy thing that I don't like. <laughs> stupid Making jokes, jokes interrupting <laughs> that aren't funny. Stupid jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what they want to do is like implant like a little chip, like a grain of rice. You know how they have it for for animals, like a tracking device, or like if you lose your animal, yeah, 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 they scan yeah. it with this thing and it tells you like what the last address of uh -huh. the owner was or whatever. And what they want to do is do that with people, except with like credit cards and ID information. So, like, um, all your passport information, all you do is have to scan your wrist where this chip is implanted, and it'll show up on the machine. That would or... be a great way to get rid of illegals. You Canadians, we're after you. <laughs> <laughs> all you that came down over the border, Niagara Falls, however you guys get here. You hopped in your boat, and you rode 20 feet <laughs> over, over Lake the... Erie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, and they want to do, I guess, with credit cards, too. Um, my only concern about that is, of course, like something like credit card theft or identity theft. Like, how easy would it be for someone to steal your identity after that? Because, I mean, we haven't really mastered it. I mean, in Europe, they start having, they started making credit cards with chips on them mm -hmm. that make them very, very hard to copy. Yeah, but I think it would be harder to steal because now you can just pickpocket someone's wallet, but then you have encrypted chips no because what they could do is pick up the data and then like duplicate it or just chop off your hand i'm i that that seems less likely but that's gonna suck if you have identity theft and you're like oh, okay i need to go in the operation room and get oh, the stupid get grain of rice one. out and get a new grain of rice <laughs> like yeah grain of rice you asian oh hey hey <laughs> for, for asians it'll be grain of rice for like white people it'll be so a, like hamburger, a hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right but anyways so I've been calling around to a bunch of friends and seeing like all my girlfriends see what they hate about guys. What do we, what do guys do that we absolutely hate? And TJ, this is your chance to defend yourself okay, and I'm, your I'm race. On, I'm on the, the defense. I'm ready to go. Okay. Are you ready to go? All right. So the first one, and this is my big, big pet peeve too, especially boyfriends like to do this to you. I don't know why. And that is fart. Like we heard Kaylin's story two weeks ago about how he totally like farted on his girlfriend's face <laughs> and, and it I was hate funny it was <laughs> funny I'm you sure for us but not for her <laughs> like Dutch ovens I don't understand Dutch Holocaust Dutch ovens whatever you want to call it <laughs> why why do you guys like to do that to us because it's disgusting we hate it it <sighs> smells like of course like asshole everywhere just like why okay I can't defend this because we already know well, that so when, it comes, fail as when it comes you might as well just come over to the other side dude just come on over <laughs> <I can't. laughs> no when it comes to bathroom stuff I'm very shy so I do not fart uh, in front of people I'm telling you you're a girl much. man you just but, don't um, fart in public yeah sounds like sounds like one of us <laughs> what 
sounds like one of us. You know how the, the joke, like the long-standing joke, girls don't fart or poop oh, or yeah. burp ever. That's, I don't know. I, I I can't defend that at all. I, I you know what? It bothers me when you know what's funny. Okay. I am gonna switch to the other side just for this example. But I'll be in the bathroom at the urinal, and I'll be sitting there minding my own business, and some guy will come up to me and just be like, "What's up?" It's like. Up. And he starts doing his thing, and I'm doing my thing, and all of a sudden I hear, <laughs> I look over, I'm like, really? You could have chosen that urinal, that urinal, that stall, <laughs> but you chose the one right directly next to me, talked to me, which is against the rules, the unspoken rules of the male bathroom, <laughs> anyway, and then let one off less, six inches away from me. <laughs> so it's, it was not what I, I was not smelling what he was cooking. I'm curious, why do you guys, is it like a comfort thing? Like, I think, because that seems like a shitty reward. Like, <laughs> I get to know you, and we're cool, and we're close, and you get to fart in front of me. Like, that is a crappy end of the deal. I swear to God. <laughs> like, I have uh, no words. No I really words? Don't. Okay. Uh, it, I apologize. <laughs> okay. My, uh, <laughs> my penis club about that. It's not... Everyone listening to this is going to think I'm a gigantic pussy. <laughs> you I, are, but it's cool. Go I ahead. I don't fart in public, so it's yeah. not a big deal. Okay. All right. Cool. But it is annoying to me when other people do it. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds fair. Sounds but, fair. Okay. You're, when well, you're, at least but, okay. When you're in a relationship and you get to that point, come on. It's not a big deal. I've never gotten to that point in a relationship. Never. Never, ever. No. Okay. Well, let's turn the tables real quick. I know it's not guy or girl's turn. But uh, we'll get to me later. But when girls queef, that pisses me off. Okay, you we can't help that. Like exactly. some girls. Exactly. No, I can hold my farts, goddammit. it! But like, and I know you can too. But like, que- like you cannot help it. Like if I had a choice to like completely banish queefing off the face of the earth, I would, cause it is embarrassing. And like some guys, and this is another thing. Okay, this is what I had an ex-boyfriend, like my most recent ex-boyfriend. He. Like, I guess in certain positions, you can make it so that she will queef for yes, sure. Yes, and he would there. do that on purpose. And I would get so pissed off. <laughs> he farted for you. <laughs> uh, he's I, the one laughing. That's gross. Why would you That is that gross. That's what, he thought it was funny. And I was it's like, no, I can't it help not. this. It is not. It is disgusting. And you no. bitches need to keep your legs. Speaking of bitches, can you go make me a sandwich? No, you <laughs> 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 So, I hate that. Is that, is that My major is harder than yours, God yeah. <laughs> I'll make more money than you. <laughs> I'll make more money than you, yeah. That's what I hate. I hate when girls make money. <laughs> what do they need money for? Alright. So another thing that I got on the list, next on the list, um, that my friend, I guess she's been living with her boyfriend for a long time now. Okay. So I guess this is more for girls who live with boyfriends. Actually, no, because my brother does this too. Well, what it is, is peeing on the toilet seat. And my brother did this, and I have sat in his pee, like, more times than I care to count. Well. And I know why he does it. I know it's because he's lazy, he's in a hurry to get back to his game or whatever, that he can only take, like, a five-second break. And he doesn't feel like lift, taking the two seconds to lift up the stupid toilet seat. You don't even have to put it down if we're at home. Just lift it up. And he will pee on the toilet seat, and I will sit on it. And it does not make me happy. Well, my defense against that is this. What? Maybe you shouldn't have to sit down to pee. <laughs> you are the weaker what? species. Maybe you should work harder and aim to not having to put the seat in. In my own home? What if I have to, like, go number two but and I sit argu- down on the toilet seat? Argument being, you don't have to. Okay. Switch okay, it around. why do guys okay, pee on instance, the toilet seat? Do you pee on the toilet seat? For instance, you walk into a bathroom, you look at a toilet, and what do you imagine the toilet seat being? You imagine it being down, right? Because it looks better that way. It's a lot homier, right? Uh, I think only when you have guests over, it should be down. Okay, like, well, anyway. Honestly, so, if we're just at home, like, why would you put it down if you don't have to? Okay, but I, I imagine it walking in, in a brand new restroom that the toilet seat is down. So, technically, I have to lift it up, pee, and then I'm expected to put it back down, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Why can't I be the other way around? Why can't the toilet seat be up, and then you have to put it down, do your shit, and then put it back up? That's so stupid. <laughs> exactly. I don't want to hear your bullshit if you don't too lazy to hear mine. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, actually, I don't know why. I don't exactly. know why. And you know what? Um, I'm pretty Maybe sure so the guy that invented the toilet... Escape, like, like, whatever evaporates, you know, it should stay in the toilet. And if you close the toilet seat, it's going to stay in that toilet. If you don't close it, it's going to evaporate everywhere. Well, that's why you turn on the fan. Well, you know...